If you're looking for a fast-paced, dynamic, hands-on industry where you can have a real impact, look no further than cybersecurity. And guess what? There has never been a better time to get into the industry than now because the demand for those professionals is growing every single day and the salaries are reflecting that. So let's look at some potential career paths and how you can get into the field. Working in cybersecurity is almost the definition of having an impact nowadays. So if you're looking for a role that you can be proud of yourself for, that will keep you on your feet, and if you're passionate about technology and problem solving, this could be a great field for you. As cyber threats are growing in their number and their complexity, there is a huge demand for cybersecurity professionals. In fact, the US Department of Labor predicts that occupations in this field will grow 13% from 2016 to 2026, adding 557,100 positions. That's in the United States alone. And like I said, salaries are reflecting that demand and that growth as well. Have I convinced you? I feel like I've convinced myself as well. So let's look at some potential ways in which we can all get into cybersecurity. Before we get into it, I wanted to thank Utica College for sponsoring this video. Utica College prepares students for rewarding careers, responsible citizenship, enlightened leadership, and fulfilling lives. They provide undergraduate and postgraduate degrees online and in person so that you can learn in the most convenient way for you. Learn more about Utica College using the link in my description. All right, so you've decided to get into cybersecurity. Congratulations, this is very exciting. So now let's look at how you can get into the field. There isn't one right path into cybersecurity, which means that no matter what background you have, you can do it. However, for the sake of understanding your skill sets and your starting point, I would differentiate between the two potential starting points, whether you have a technical background or whether you don't have a technical background. If you do have a technical background, you might have an advantage because it might be easier to get into some technical roles. And you might also have a leg up in terms of experience that you might need for some of these cybersecurity roles. However, if you don't have a technical background, don't be discouraged. There are plenty of ways to get your foot in the door with pretty basic technical knowledge. However, you do have to understand though that you will be getting into a technical field. So to grow your career further down the line, you will have to acquire more technical skills. But the good news is that it's never too late to learn anything. I'm too old or I'm too late are just excuses that people use when they're afraid of change. And growth. People come into the field of cybersecurity from a variety of skill sets and backgrounds. And in fact, that kind of different way of thinking might help you have an edge when it comes to your problem solving. Remember, technology is all about solving problems and cybersecurity is a great example of it. And since the field is relatively new, there's no right or wrong career path into it, as long as you can meet the job requirements. So the first thing I would do is do some research on the roles that sound interesting to you. I have published a video already on how to make big career decisions. And there's some guidance in that video on how to do this research. I will link it in the description. So watch that video after you're done with this one. The reason why you need to do that research is because there are a ton of very interesting and challenging positions in cybersecurity within the field of cybersecurity and the skills that are required to do them will be different of course for example in a role of a cybersecurity analyst you would be planning and implementing a set of security measures to protect a company's computer systems and networks the skills recommended for this role include understanding information systems, carrying out risk assessment and management, cryptography, and project management. Penetration testers attempt to crack into computer systems for the sake of testing their security. Their job is to find vulnerabilities in the system before the bad guys do, so they're often called ethical hackers. These professionals need some serious coding skills and experience in order to crack into any system and also the knowledge of computer security from forensics to system analysis. They should also understand business implications of a potential breach and to be willing to continue to grow and develop to keep up with the unethical hackers. 
The third example of a different role that requires a different skill set is network administrators. They help build, maintain, oversee, and troubleshoot vital computer and communication networks for organizations. These professionals should know how to configure complex networks with the ability to manage, control, and monitor server infrastructures. So do your research and find a role that sounds exciting and feels right for you. The role that will keep you growing and learning and will allow you to have the impact that you'd like to have in this world. Do a 10 year test if you'd like. What will you in 10 years think about your decision, your today's decision to pick this role as a goal and this direction for your career? Will you in 10 years be proud of yourself right now for picking that direction and will you feel fulfilled by it? Really imagine that. Once you've determined which role sounds like the right one for you, let's make a game plan on how to get you to it. Work backwards from that role to see what educational level, what skills, what experience, what certifications, etc. you might need for that end goal. Be open to the fact that you might have to work in another role before that one in order to get your foot in the door and to get the experience that you need. For most cybersecurity positions, you should have a bachelor's degree. Of course, it's not always required, but it will definitely come in handy down the line when you are trying to grow your career and get promoted. If you don't have a bachelor's degree, Utica College has an awesome and flexible online Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity degree that is designated by the U.S. Department of Defense Cyber Crime Center as one of only 15 national centers for digital forensics academic excellence. I'll leave a link to it in my description in case if you'd like to learn more. If you already have a bachelor's degree, but not in cybersecurity or computer science, you can always build up your education level from there. You can get a master's degree or take courses that will give you the skills and the certifications that are required for the role that you'd like to do. Utica College has been at the forefront of innovation in cybersecurity education and has a variety of awesome postgraduate degrees, courses, and certifications that will help you build your education up. I will leave the links in my description for you to explore them. Once you understand your next action items in terms of education, look into what skills and experience you will need to get to that role. I would highly recommend really studying the job descriptions and requirements for the role that you're aiming for, especially for companies that you like to work at. Make a list of all of those requirements, creating a step-by-step -step plan on how you can meet them. If you need a certain amount of experience to get to the role that you're trying to get to, look for roles that are less senior or entry level into the field that will count towards this experience that will be more attainable for you right now with where you are and that also sound fun. As I've already said, you might have to start with a different role that will get you foot in the door. Once you've identified those roles, again, work backwards to understand what skills and knowledge you need to get hired. As you can tell, the theme of this video is understanding what your goal is and working backwards to get the required education, skills and experience. Because, to be honest, this is the best way to go about any career growth. Especially in a field as new and as dynamic as cybersecurity, where there is no right or wrong career path. Besides, you never know where these skills will take you. Maybe the job that you will be doing in three or five years hasn't even been invented yet, but you're already starting to lay foundation for it. Remember though, you should be excited about what you're doing, so your career goals should fuel you and give you energy. Life is pretty short, so there's no point in doing anything that doesn't fulfill you or make you happy. I hope this was useful and that you have more confidence on how to do your research, find what's right for you, and shape your career in cybersecurity. And again, if you're looking for a way to build up your skills and get a degree or a certification in the field, make sure to check out the programs by Utica College. I will leave all the links in my description. So go and check them out right now. Do you use the system of setting a goal and working backwards from it? If yes, what has been the most recent one for you? Let me know in the comments. Like this video if you've enjoyed it, share it with a friend who might also be interested in getting into this exciting world of cybersecurity. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
Have a wonderful time of the day you're currently experiencing. Bye.